Well, here we are in Portland, New South Wales, just a little north of Lithgow, once a cement making town. We're going to walk through town and we're going to have a look at advertising signs that have been repainted, not changed or put there especially, but they've been repainted and restored. And while we're doing that, going around town, we'll listen to Slim Newton's The Red Back on the Toilet Seat. But before we do that, let's go and have a, a cup of coffee and a cake at the cake shop just across the road there and the two lovely ladies who run it. There was a red back on the toilet seat when I was there last night. I didn't see him in the dark, but boy, I felt his bite. I jumped high up into the air and when I hit the ground, that crafty red-back spider wasn't nowhere to be found. I rushed into the missus, told her just where I'd been bit. She grabbed the cutthroat razor blade and I nearly took a fit. I said, just forget what's on your mind and call a doctor, please. Cos I've got a feeling that your cure is worse than the disease. There was a red back on the toilet seat when I was there last night. I didn't see him in the dark, but boy, I felt his bite. And now I'm here in hospital, a sad and sorry plight. And I cursed the red back spider on the toilet seat last night. down I can't sit up and I don't know what to do and all the nurses think it's funny but that's not my point of view I tell you it's embarrassing and that's to say the least but I'm too sick to eat a bite while that spider had a feast and when I get back home again I'll tell you what I'll do I'll make that red back suffer for the pain I'm going through I've had so many needles that I'm looking like a sieve And I promise you that spider hasn't very long to live There was a red back on the toilet seat when I was there last night I didn't see him in the dark, but boy I felt his bite But now I'm here in hospital, a sad and sorry plight and I cursed the red back spider on the toilet seat last night. Oh, go away, Dave. Can't you see Mabel's telling my fortune? Oh, telling your fortune, is she? Well, does she have to hold your hand like that? Oh, take no notice of him, Mabel. Go on telling me fortune. Well, you'll have good luck towards the end of the year, and you'll get a letter with money in it. <laughs> Did you hear that, Dave? Someone is going to send me some money. I'd be sending you money. Oh, that's silly. It's not silly. I can see it here in Dad's hands. Well, I don't believe in fortune telling. Now, don't interrupt us. Go and sit with your mother. Mum wants to go to sleep for a while. Well, you let Mabel keep on telling me fortune. Go on, Mabel. Well, 